Lucas Media. Shout out to my subscribers. We're over 500 now. You know what I'm saying? People that support me without y'all wouldn't be able to do this. But let's get right to it. So USC had a previous coach a couple days ago, Andy Enfield, and the debacle that the UFC basketball team had with Bronny James there, Isaiah, Isaiah Collier, and several other players. Well, since they had that terrible season, and the infield left, and he popped up at Southern Methodist University, SMU, in Dallas, Texas. USC is looking for a head basketball coach. They finally got new coach Eric Musselman. Musselman, who previous stops was at Arkansas and Nevada, is an excellent recruiter. Just a couple years ago, I believe he had the number one class in the country. Or a top five class. It was one of those. And he put several in players that went to the University of Arkansas. Currently playing in the NBA. So you, like I said, you know he was, he's recruiting. And people are speculating whether Bronny James is going to leave. Report broke out two days ago that Bronny was gone. He entered the transfer portal. Then LeBron did a post-game interview. He said he don't know where that report came from. Then the person who who broke the report retracted and said that basically he's not 100% sure, but that's what he's hearing. And so we really don't know. In the first video, I said I felt like Bronny, they're going to look for a more clutch friendly coach. But then I've seen that he would trans jump in the transfer portal. So now I don't know. But I will say this. This is a good look. Regardless of what, what Ronnie does, Eric Mussman is a great recruiter. He's shown he can bring the talent there and be able to coach. And if I remember, just a couple years ago, they were one of the top seeds in the tournament. But we'll see what Bronny's going to do. Just like LeBron, he said that Bronny has some tough decisions to make. When I heard that as a parent, it seems like, you know, maybe they – have two different visions, but LeBron's going to actually let Bronny go out there and make the decision on his own. Some people think he's going to transfer and go to a Duke or an Ohio State. I think I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up at Duquesne. I know it's a slim chance, at least at the moment, but Drew Joyce is there. LeBronny can have the ball more, and you don't have to build a super team to win national titles. This is shown that it doesn't work. Just look at last year. Look at all these years. How many freshmen, starting freshmen or starting five sophomores are really bringing teams to national titles year in and year out. But whatever, whatever decision Bronny makes, I'm going to support him. Um, but I do think he has some decisions. Like I watched the brother ticket TV's video He's in it like a darned if you do, darned if you don't, right? Or six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. Because if he goes to college next year and he struggles, you know, people are going to say he's a four-year player and he may not be able to make it to the NBA. But if he goes to the NBA right now, people are going to say, oh, he only got there because of his father. And he won't stay in the league long. He'll be a two-way player. And then if he doesn't do the good over there, they'll say, oh, we told you he was a bust. I honestly can imagine the pressure Bronny's going through. These this next year or two, we'll really see whether or not he wants to do basketball. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I'll keep making videos as I hear more updates. Look like USC's trying to move on from Andy Infield with a big hire, Eric Musselman. We'll see what that does for Bronny. Let me know what y'all think.